Hey, we're Chris and Nicole, and we're building out an off-grid camper van. Now that we've got all the strapping done for the van, sound deadening complete, it's time to install our trailer hitch and begin pulling the electrical wiring. Good morning, and welcome back to week three of the van build. It's week three? I can't believe it's... It is week, I can't, week three, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it's... We are on to our third week of building out the van. It has been a lot of really good learning experiences, a lot of hard work, and lots more to come. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so today it's like another full day, mostly a full day of working out here. Uh, gonna get the trailer hitch installed, and we've got some other stuff that we're working on there, so we'll take you along for the ride. This week we are also going to be working on pulling all of the electrical in prep yeah. for spray foam. We are crossing our fingers that the air conditioner is going to ship within the next week or so so that we can move forward and get going on spray foaming and get going because we might hit a wall otherwise. And finally, Home Depot is open and we can actually yeah. go in again. So let's go there. <laughs> Bye! It is our first trip in the actual store in 2021. Um, we have gotten uh, the start to our electrical wiring. Yep, yeah, we got some of the conduit and then some of the wiring for our 12 volt uh, lights and everything. So we'll get started on that first this week and then we'll be making a few more trips later this week because they don't have the wire for our alternator, but we'll, um, we'll go from there. All right. So today we'll be installing this trailer hitch underneath here. It's uh, specially made for the Sprinter van for this, this year of uh, van. But um, it's a nice thing, this van, I didn't know it at the time when we bought it, but it already comes pre-wired for all the trailer lights, so it saves one last thing to do. So really all we need to do is bolt this on under the van. And it bolts onto the frame, right onto the frame in the same spot that this step here bolts on, so it should be pretty easy. I've got the lift cart and we'll lift it up. It's pretty heavy. It's not going to be pulling anything too heavy in terms of trailers. We've got like a small snowmobile trailer, single axle, so that will uh, that'll be fine behind this. But that way we can take the sleds out in the winter and, uh, and go sledding and then stay in the van during those winter months. So we'll get this installed. All right, so under the van here, this is the step. It mounts it right to the frame here. There's three bolts here that we're going to reuse. The hitch comes with an extra bolt and there's already a hole up there for it. So the hitch is going to mount to this side. We're going to reverse these bolts to the other side. And uh, yeah, so the, the step will stay on this side, hitch will mount to the other side, and then it's nice and strong because it's right to the piece of framing right here on the van. Okay, so no task is easy. So I think in order to get this on here, we're going to have to lower the, uh, the spare tire under there to get a little bit more clearance. And I'm pretty sure to do that, we need to remove a few of these caps here. And there should be some bolts in there and then that'll lower it down. And then we should be able to get the hitch on. I'm gonna try to go underneath here and put a bolt, one bolt through on this side and then... Into the cold snow. A little tight in there? How do you like that? I don't like that. You don't like it? No. You want a new task? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you made you, me cut them twice because you didn't like my first cut. You're done with the floor? You're, you're giving me sauce about my gluing. It's going all over the goddamn fan. <laughs> ah! Got, got to clean up the glue. No! Will not clean up the glue. That's Keenan's job. <laughs> okay, well, we are cutting the day short because we are heading up to go to the cottage for the night to go out snowmobiling tomorrow. Just gotta pack the dog and then we're gonna be on the road. So we will see you up in Georgian Bay. 
Hey guys, so we're taking a quick break today and we're gonna do a little bit of uh, snowmobiling instead of doing the van build just because we only have so many winter weekends in the in the year where snowmobiling actually really works out so we got to take full advantage of it uh, so we'll take you on for a quick ride here and show you what it's like to be out on Georgian Bay from an awesome day of sledding at the cottage. It was the perfect day for it. It was two degrees and we don't often get those kind of days. So we are off to bed. Chris is off tomorrow. So we have a full day working on the van. We're super excited that never happens midweek. We are working on electrical all day tomorrow. So we will see you in the morning. All right, so when you're pulling the electrical wire, it's important to make sure you're using the right size gauge wire for what you're going to be using, what the electrical is going to be connected to. Um, in this case, we're going to be pulling for the air conditioner, which is a DC, 12 volt DC air conditioner, but it's going to pull a lot of amps. Um, so you want a really thick wire. This is a two gauge wire, um, which meets the needs for the amperage that, that unit's going to pull. So we're going to pull this wire from the ceiling up, on, up there so that it's ready when we install the air conditioner through the wall basically down to where our battery banks are going to be. Uh, for all of our other wire, we are pulling 10 gauge wire for the AC voltage. Um, really, I think you can get away with 12 or 14 gauge, but we're going with 10 gauge just to be on the safe side, especially because our inverter um, has the ability to, like some of our outlets are going to be 20 amp outlets. So just go a little bit safer there. And then all of our DC is 12 to, and again, that's probably a little bit overkill, but um, just uh, figure be on the safer side. These are the little zip tie things. They work really well for the wiring because you just go ahead and uh, peel off 3M tape off the back. You can go and place this anywhere on the van, run some zip ties through, and then it keeps everything neat and organized. <laughs> Do you want a hand? No, I'm good. This is coming along. This is quite the awkward dance you've got going on. So you can be one. <laughs> so we're setting up this bag or garbage bags around the window framing because I am going to file all of the edges that Chris cut the other day. It's really important to be able to catch all of your filings um, so that it doesn't go into the van because that can potentially cause rust. So that's something that we're just trying to avoid. It makes for a lot easier to clean up as well. Files to choose from. Okay. Whichever one you want. Uh, the big guy. <laughs> and this one can be for the hole over there and stuff. Okay. All right, let's get filing. We're going to be filing down all of the areas that Chris uh, cut, and then that way we are prepped for the window install. And we're off to our second home for another visit which is also known as the Home Depot during this build. <laughs> and Nicole's doing the driving. Woo! Daisies blooming Sundress swaying in the breeze I can't stop staring You've put a spell on me And I hope that you never decide to set me free Got me moving my own feet Greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream Is you forever moving next to me Well, 
I think that's a wrap for this week. We have just finished cleaning the van. She is back to being absolutely spotless. Yeah, it's all ready. Uh, tomorrow we are going into a heated garage and we're going to be cutting some holes in the van. So that's what's gonna be coming next week. So we are super excited for next week's video. Um, it's getting a little bit more exciting. This week we just got all the electrical pulled. The sound deadening is done. What else do we do? Uh, that and uh, yeah, it was most and the trailer hitch. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, next week things are gonna get way, uh, way more interesting. We're gonna so, put the fan on the roof too. So if you love following along on this fan build, we would absolutely love if you could subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and we will see you next week. Bye. Let's not waste time. We'll take this slow. We've got miles behind us. But